and Charlie always put on a good show, so it's going to be really fun. But we're going to have to bundle up. You're going to have to bundle up. You can drink some more coffee. You have some tonight. <laughs> you can have some in the morning. But it is so much fun to hear the marching band and be that close yeah. to them. And then to just hang with all the other Badger fans because, you know, it's the best place to be. Yeah, the marching band, too. We talked about it before. Um, it's just everyone loves listening to them. There's a fifth quarter they play after the game, too. That's how popular they are. That's right. They are awesome. They put on such a great show. We have also behind them the University of Wisconsin Marching Band. We're mm -hmm. talking about them. We love them. They perform weekly in the stadium, of course, for the 80 fans, 80,000 fans during Badger football games. And that fifth quarter you mentioned, 50,000 fans. So wow. more than half of the fans stay for the fifth quarter. Oh, my gosh. That's, That's just amazing. And the, and the ones who do stay... If, I was going to say if, when, when the Badgers win, uh -huh. uh, they turn their hats backwards. It's a tradition that signifies looking back at the victory of the day. That is really cool. They've grown to 300 members, by the way. Uh, 300 members. Really cool. At the beginning of the fourth quarter, the tubas line up single file and march around the stadium, winging, mm -hmm. weaving in and out of the stands and concourse. If you've been to the games, you have seen that. It is super fun. It was actually created back in 1885 as the mm. Wisconsin Regimental Band. Interesting. And if you've ever watched them practice, you think, you know, it's just playing in a band, right? But oh their practices are, are just as intense as some sports teams out there. Yeah, it's they're straight wild. up workouts. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, just even the choreography and the moving all around and, mm -hmm. you know, making sure that they're, each person is in the right spot because yeah. you've got 300 people you're moving around. It's yeah. impressive. They do an awesome job. Well, you're doing that in front of 80,000 people during the game and 50,000 afterwards. That's, that's very impressive. Did you play an instrument? I, not in band, but okay. I do play piano. Okay. I've wanted to pick up a new one, maybe guitar, but yeah. I have my fingers are weak. How about you? I was a violinist. You were? Growing up. Yeah, they don't want violins at halftime of a football game, no. but still, it was it was a fun instrument to play. Yeah, so. I mean, any music is great. It teaches you so many things about life. I love watching their dance moves, too, as, yeah. they, <laughs> as they come through. So thanks to the band for doing that. And we've got to give a big shout out to the UW yes. Homecoming Committee. We've been talking about it all day. We've heard from so many people about how much work mm -hmm. has gone into this. They plan all year yeah, for and, this event. And Amari was talking to us. She's a sophomore, and, and uh, she's the marketing director for this uh, for this committee. It's